exothermic and endothermic reactions. When a chemical change occurs, the chemical bonds that join atoms together in a compound are broken. The atoms then rearrange with new atoms, creating new bonds that make new compounds. The breaking and creating of chemical bonds requires energy. The amount of energy required to break a chemical bond compared to the amount needed to create a chemical bond helps identify the type of chemical reaction. In an exothermic reaction, the amount of energy in the reactants is more than in the products. It will require a small amount of activation energy to break the bonds of the reactants and create the bonds of the products. There will be an excess energy after creating the bonds in the products, and that extra energy will be released in the form of heat into the surrounding areas. This can be observed by measuring the temperature using thermometer. The temperature will increase. In an endothermic reaction, the amount of energy in the reactants is less than in the products. It will require a large amount of activation energy to break the bonds of the reactants and create the bonds of the product. It will need to absorb the energy from the surrounding areas to help make the bonds for the products. This can be observed by measuring the temperature using a thermometer again. This time, the temperature will decrease. So in an exothermic reaction, energy is released and the temperature increases. In an endothermic reaction, energy is absorbed and the temperature decreases. The reactants in an exothermic reaction have more energy than the products, so there will be leftover energy released into the environment. In an endothermic reaction, the reactants have less energy than the products, so they need to actually absorb energy from the environment. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.